What's up guys, you're welcome to another video and in this video we're going to be talking about for loops in Zig. So what is a for loop? A for loop is a construct in Zig that allows you to iterate over an array or a slice. So we're going to be creating an array here. Um, I'm going to call it array and this is going to be an array of u bits. that's an array of bytes so i'm going to add um, just some numbers and in order for us to be able to loop over this array what we're gonna do is we're going to use a for loop and this is how it works so we have for array so we're basically saying that we want to loop over this array and so for each item in this array um we could then do something like std dot debug the prints um and then we're gonna have the um item okay we're just gonna have it like this item and maybe a comma at the end so I want this to be printed on one line. That is why I'm using std debug dot print. And maybe at the end, I could add like a new line. And now, if we run this on Zig build run, we're going to see that we should get the items printed out just as you might expect. Now, what if you wanted to get the index of each item in the array? So Zinc provides a handy method to do that, and that is just after these pipe um, pipes inside of this pipe. So you have the item. You're also going to type in the index, which is a U size. Um, so you can use the index for whatever you want inside of here. So I'm going to be deleting this um, and this. All right. Um, so what I want to do is use the std log the info, and what I want to do is print item at index at index whatever equals to whatever. So what I'm trying to do is item at index index is going to equal to the item. So of course the first one corresponds to this, and the, the second placeholder corresponds to this. So now, if we print this out, if we run this, we're going to see that we have everything as we expect. So whenever you're trying to loop over an array or a slice, then this definitely works. Um, you could also get the slice of this, of course. So we want to do from 0 to maybe 3. And so that should just give us 0, 1, 2, 3, just 1 to 4. So if we check that, you're going to see that that is going to loop over the slice, as you might expect. All right? So this is, uh, of course, this is exclusive. So that is it. Now also, you might also, if you wanted to just get maybe the index of the array and not the item, you could just put an underscore here and that is going to work. So that means that we could delete that. And now we could also remove maybe that and running this is going to give us the same result um so we have the indexes printed out here that is all you need to know about for loops and zig and in the next video we're going to be talking about while loops thanks for watching make sure you subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye